Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to talk about GPU performance and what is going on because some people don't know what GPUs are capable of and I will give you some really good and helpful tips. So to make this video short, I'm going to give it a small explanation on what's going on. So first of all, what can increase or decrease the performance of your card? We have four different types of memory in the RX 470s and the RX 480s. We have Alpida, we have Hynix, we have Samsung and we even have Micron. That's the latest one I have seen so far and that can give you more or less hash rate. For now Hynix is still the best and some people say Samsung is the best but we'll see that in the future. But what can also increase or decrease the performance of the card and that's the core. Of course, they print it on a very large silicon plate and sometimes the performance of one chip is better than the other because that one is just printed better. Also, I give you one more small tip. GPUs only last 16,000 hours in total of running because they have capacitors that can break down after 16,000 hours and if you don't know how much that is in days, is only 600 days so it's a little bit under two years so make sure you don't kill your card before you sell it so now that we know that all cards can be slightly different from each other i want you guys to be really honest and help me out with the next video so i want to make a video about um the top 10 gpus for now or maybe the top five like rx series cards but i'm not sure how i'm going to do that but I want you guys to do something for me. So what I want you to do is go to the description and copy the add hash clocks thingy that I made and put it in the comments below, fill it out with your card, the card brand, the 4GB or 8GDR5, uh, memory type, core clock speed, memory clock speed, TDP, wattage, core voltage and the hash rate. So I want to find the best results possible even if it's a different type of memory type. So. Let's say this MSI is a 8 GB DDR5, it's an Alpida, it hashes at 1, 150 MHz and 2100 core. TDB is still 85 after BIOS modding, the wattage is only 85 watts and it hasn't been touched on the core voltage, but it hashes at 28.5 MHz per second. This card is very good and I think this is the best average one you can do because you can go both ways with the GPU on mining Ethereum. You can go really high in wattage and mine at a slightly better speed, let's say 30.5 instead of 28.5 using 20 watts more. But you can also go down in wattage and lose a few hash rates to go for efficiency. But I want you to take the most average one between those or if you say like, okay, we go for maximum hash rates just put it in the comment as well like this one is for efficiency this one's for maximum hash rate and this one is normal you can do that if you want if you say like okay i just put three hash clocks in it for the same card that's fine for me but i need it for research for this channel so i can bring the best out of it for you guys but make sure you are playing safe and are very fair about your results don't go like Oh man, I got 600 mega hashes per second out of my card because nobody would believe you. You know, just play it fair, give it good results. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one.